Hi, I'm Levi Gibson, and I'm within our cloud product management group here at Insight. Hi, Levi. It's good to see you. This is Tim Donovan. I lead our AWS and uh, Google Cloud practice here at Insight. Awesome. Thanks for jumping on, Tim. Hey, so what I've been seeing over um, over the past few weeks is customers really starting to, you know, inquire about uh, strategy around cost optimization, cost management when it comes to to their cloud environment and their cloud strategy. So, Tim, I was hoping you could jump on. You know, you came from an IT kind of developer background and are now within our, you know, cloud product management and practice group here at Insight. So I was just hoping you kind of chat a little bit about your experience um, around what you did before and now what you're doing with cloud. Yeah, that's right, Levi. So, um, yeah, as you mentioned, I was an architect long before I was a cloud architect. So uh, <clears throat> I spent, you know, a lot of time in, in conference rooms surrounded by whiteboards with, you know, all kinds of uh, code and uh, software stacks and figuring stuff out. And uh, what I'll tell you is that uh, I wasn't really good at optimizing for cloud. We were all giddy when cloud first came out because you know you didn't have to break your back loading compact servers into racks and then wait for your ISP to, to extend a connection to you so you could support your workload. And the cost, it was fantastic uh, comparatively, at least the startup cost. So uh, you know we always looked at uh, the cloud piece as kind of an afterthought almost. And you know, that's, I, I, don't, I don't think we're necessarily unique. There are people that are more uh, diligent and have more rigor in the way they do it than I did probably. But, uh, you know, I think that if, if you went back at some of these things that I built, because, you know, when we get to that point where we're deploying code and we're moving things to production, we're thinking, yes, yeah, for sure, we'd uh, try to be thoughtful in our architecture. But at some point, you know, it's a little bit of Kentucky windage where you're sitting there saying, all right, I think I need maybe an M5 large, you know, maybe I need a lot of ephemeral storage here. Maybe I need something that's computing to... And uh, I'd like to say we went back and looked at everything and right-sized it after it was running and were very thoughtful and, and, and had some rigor there. But uh, honestly, I think if you went back, Levi, and looked at some of those things that I built six years ago, you'd be like, Tim, you really could have optimized this a lot better than you did, right? For sure. And I don't think that your experience is, is unique. I think a lot of organizations are experiencing that as well. So, you know, in the in the former days of on-premise servers, it was it was easy to build and set it and forget it. Now what you know what I'm seeing from um, organizations and IT managers is really, you know, customers who have got into cloud either through a hybrid strategy or from a top-down type mandate, like from a CEO or from a board, you know, to start adopting cloud. They get into it and then, the, you know, the sprawl happens quick or they realize that, you know, there's there's new things you have to worry about with cloud that you didn't before. You know, and what we're seeing a lot is, you know, customers getting to that point and then really wanting to develop and work with us to hone in a strategy around governance and cost optimization. And I think it's, you know, it's easy to think about governance for cloud, you know, in terms of. Um, organizations, you know, how do I set up projects? How do I set up accounts? You know, what's my, you know, policy for workloads, things like that. But there is a separate thread to governance that is just as important and becomes really relevant when you start thinking about costs. And that's really, you know, how do I allocate costs internally? How do I build back departments? So, you know, we have many organizations who rely on us to bill you know, their departments directly as part of their governance strategy. And that helps them, you know, control their budgets internally and, you know, get an idea of what costs are coming from what workloads. And then there's a whole other side outside of just the procurement, you know, around the governance, but the, the more technical side of, you know, how do I set developer rules? How do I, you know, make decisions on performance versus cost and what workloads are right to choose which of that on? And I know your team, you know, really gets in with customers on that. So when you're when you're wanting to help a customer and engaging with an organization to help them around, you know, some of the procurement side of cost optimization, but also some of the technical side around those development rules and the strategy on performance and cost, you know, how are you engaging with organizations and helping them make those decisions? Uh, there's a there's a whole bunch of different ways. I mean, depending upon the scale of what you're doing, uh, you know, if it's something big and expansive, and it is, it's it's for instance, uh, you're rationalizing a brick and mortar data center that's fifty thousand square feet. You need to you want to be really thoughtful about because you know you could if you get it wrong, 
uh, you know, it, it could be way wrong, right? And, uh, but still, it, there's AWS, for instance, has their well architected uh, framework. And, you know, we're, that's uh, our practice uh, at Insight. We actually have that as one of our competencies, but there's others. You know, there's no one that's perfect. But what I'll tell you is it's hard to, you know, look into the future and say, all right, you know, these workloads that are running on, you know, maybe it's VMware, maybe it's, you know, maybe it, you don't even have a hypervisor. Uh, you have a whole bunch of filers. You might have NetApp. Uh, you might have HP. You might have all these things. How that's going to work in the cloud once you're using S3 and EBS and all these other things, it's hard to predict 100% accurately. I think that, uh, you know, it, taking a, an iterative incremental approach to it and then monitoring how it's landing and how those workloads are landing in the cloud and then, uh, you know, being thoughtful about that, that rigor that comes, all right, so we, we like, okay, this isn't behaving the way we wanted it. Let's make these adjustments. Let's do that. I think that uh, that's how you get the best optimized uh, straight out of the gate. But still, it's no substitute for, because as you mentioned, sprawl. I mean, it, you'll find, you know, dev test environments might be in Singapore. It's, it's so, when I was lifting, you know, trays of disks and filers into racks, I knew exactly where they were. And Dagnabbit, I wasn't going to, you know, want to do that again unless I had to. So I was pretty thoughtful about what uh, storage was running on there, maybe a little more than in the cloud where, you know, I click a few things and I do a snap mirror and all of a sudden I have a, a mirror running in a, a region and an availability zone and then I'm on to the next thing. It takes five seconds. It's uh, you can, If you don't have that rigor, if you don't have, you know, using preferably some tools, but if you don't have that uh, rigor and you're not vigilant about what the heck's running where, uh, you know, you'll find For you're sure. not optimized, right? For sure. And what, you know, the feedback we get from organizations all the time is that it gets complex. You know, when you start thinking about what's the strategy for this on cloud, um, especially when the organization is in a multi-cloud model and they're having to watch that by cloud platform as well as watch, watch their on-premise data center for any of their hybrid cloud workloads as well. It gets really complex to juggle, okay, what is the procurement side of cost optimization? What is the technical side? What is the governance side? Um, you know, where are the, uh, what do I need to do as far as assessing what workloads really go where to begin with? And then how do I manage all this together in a recurring, you know, real time basis? And that's where insight, you know, can really help organizations. And that's where, you know, we're doing a lot with customers of all size to date. Um, if you're, whether you're an organization at the beginning of your, you know, cloud strategy, really at the point of defining what goes where, we can help you, we can make those recommendations. Or if you're an organization that is already in cloud, already has a hybrid footprint, is in a multi-cloud model, no matter how complex it gets, we can help you with real-time recurring cadences to get in the weeds and talk about optimizing for procurement, optimizing your technology stack, optimizing any type of your strategy. So if you're struggling with that or think that there's room to um, to optimize your your cost around cloud optimization, reach out. We would we would love to help you with that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think you hit the nail on the head. There, there's a lot, and we, we you shouldn't you know watch this video and then go away and think, oh, you know, cloud it's big and scary, and you know, could, you can have sprawl and cost will spin out of control. There's a there's a reason cloud is gaining market share, and there's a reason that folks uh, are on somewhere. Almost everyone you talk to is somewhere on a cloud journey. Because, uh, you know, it, it can be a great asset uh, for whatever you're doing. So uh, and folks shouldn't shy away from it. But, uh, you know, there is, is, as Levi mentions, these cadence calls, which uh, my team does every day. Uh, you know, having your, if, you, if you're not using Insight, uh, having your own uh, systematic uh, process for making sure that uh, you're being vigilant about uh, where your workloads are and what you're consuming that's going to make a heck of a lot of a difference in uh, what, this, what this ends up costing you. And uh, it can be absolutely uh, very economical and uh, you can get great value for your money. But uh, if you're not careful, you, you it can go the other direction too. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. So please reach out. We would love to, to spend some time with you and talking about your cloud strategy and how you can optimize that for cost. Thanks for joining. Nice.